comedian Catherine Ryan has garnered a reputation for her side-splitting celebrity roasting but her star-studded career has sometimes brought her face to face with the very people she's taken aim at during her comedy specials. Speaking to Daily Express UK as an ambassador for Gusto and their new Bluey partnership, the mum of three admitted it's a tricky line to walk as we roast the ones we love. In one run-in, the 40-year-old was hosting the 2020 NME Awards when she ran into Taylor Swift, three years after she brutally roasted the singer's friendship with Lena Dunham and her now-notorious Twitter feud with Nicki Minaj. She recalled meeting the Midnight's hitmaker backstage, after she won the Best Solo Act in the World Award. She was very complimentary. I was hosting and she came up to me and was like, oh, you're amazing, you're doing an amazing job. That is a moment that earned my daughter's respect every day because Violet only cares about Taylor Swift. She joked about her 15-year-old daughter she shares with ex-Alex Edelman. She continued, Everything has to revolve around Taylor Swift. Everyone has to revolve around Taylor Swift like she's the son. My daughter has me retell that story all the time. What? You met Taylor Swift and she said you were cool. After joking that Taylor kept Lena Dunham in her friend group only as an insurance policy for her girl squad, Catherine also ran into the actress who assured her that Taylor thought the roast was really funny. Catherine praised the 34-year-old. I really think that's the true mark of a wonderfully well-rounded, full person is to know the difference between hate speech and a joke. Know the difference between something that's meant to be a criticism and something that's meant to be a laugh. I think it's so attractive to be able to have a laugh at yourself. Reflecting on Joe Coy's infamous jibe at the singer during the Golden Globes, which wasn't taken so lightheartedly, the comedian shared her sympathies and revealed that it may not have been in the host's control at all. She shared, he could have had 100 jokes about Taylor Swift and there might have been someone in production that was like, no tell that joke, or, we have this joke that we like. I think maybe he didn't stand up for himself enough. That's why Ricky Gervais is so wonderful hosting the Golden Globes because he stands for what he wants to say and some of his jokes may be close to the bone but he says what he wants.